So I was having an issue with one of my QSC speakers the other day where it randomly would turn off. And I was checking power and various things. I was working with QSC support and there, have you updated the firmware on your speaker? Well, this, I'm, I'm used to updating Blu-ray players, mixers, and all the rest of it. Some speakers could now get firmware updates to fix various problems. So I'm going to show you how to do the update on the QSC speaker. And this is on the, the not the 12s, but like the 12.2s, that second generation of those QSC speakers. So hopefully this will help you if you're having a similar issue with maybe the, the speaker cutting out, turning down with thermal heat or, or whatever. This will make sure you're on the most current version. So let's just click over to the website. Uh, QSC.com. If I go to support, software and firmware updates, and then just find the speakers that I want to deal with. Of course, if you have any of these other things, you can update those. But right here, we're interested in the K.2 series updates. And you're going to see there's all different types right here. Um, you've got the choice of uh, Windows or Mac. I am on my Windows machine, so I'm going to do my update. You will have to create an account. The account is free. Uh, first one that I signed up for, I was not getting the confirmation email, so I used a different email and that worked fine. Type that in. I already have all of this saved. Password's already saved. And then uh, you'll see that I have it installed right right here. So right now I'm going to go ahead and run uh, run the installer. Now to do the update, you're going to have to connect via USB. If you look on the back of your speaker, you're not going to see any port to plug into. However, it is there. You just have to remove something. So I'm going to pull up one of my QSCs right here. Oh. Gosh, and here's one of the, the 12.2s right here. Look at the back of the speaker here. You really cannot see any USB ports. That's because it is hidden. It is hidden under the adjustment knob. And we're going to take that knob off. You need to take the knob off carefully. Put your nail underneath it and just pull it off straight. Um, the first one I did, I kind of yanked to the side. And I actually broke this piece off. And now I have an expensive repair. So make sure you do take that off carefully. And you'll see right here you have your micro USB. Now the micro USB is kind of the flat one that is shaped. So you do need to make sure that goes in the correct way, uh, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, also double check that the cable, the cable you are using is um, a data cable and not just a charging cable. If it is just a charging cable, it may not connect to your, your Mac or PC. So make sure it is a data cable. Um, so I've done that. The other thing I need to do is add speaker power. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn that guy on. And now I'm going to plug this end into my desktop. All right, so let's flip over so we can see both my desktop and the speaker itself. You'll see this is turned on right here. And we're gonna launch the updater. And you'll see, here's my speaker, the, the K12.2. That's the serial number of my speaker. Is it connected? Yes. My firmware on the speaker right now is 1.1.0. That's the original firmware that came with the speaker. So we're going to do the upgrade right here. Um, it's going to go through the various steps. Right now, it's at 10%. So this is just part of the process. If we look right on the um, on the LED back here, it says loading firmware. So during this process, you want to make sure that the speaker power is not taken off. Um, that can have cause an issue with it. You want to keep that data cable plugged in. Um, if you're doing this on a laptop, let's plug the laptop in just, just in case. Uh, so we're just going to wait for this to do its thing. The actual update takes just over three minutes. This is sped up a thousand times, so we don't have to sit here and watch that. During this process, you'll see the, on the back of the speaker, it actually restarts a few times. It says loading firmware. Whatever you do, do not unplug it while it is doing this. You could ruin your speaker. Firmware is up to date. So we went from 1.1.0, which I believe was the original firmware with these speakers, to 1.4.1. 
And at this point, we can remove the USB, place it back in, and some, anytime you do a firmware update on any machine, whatever you're doing, don't do it right before an event, just in case there's an issue. And of course, you need to test the speaker now, so I'm gonna be plugging it in to an audio system and making sure that that works. But I hope this helps, I hope you find this interesting. It's kind of cool to know that um, speakers now can have firmware upgrades to fix any issues that they may have, and hopefully this is gonna uh, fix my speaker turning off issue during some movies. All right. Hope that helps. Have a great one. Cheers. Bye.